Hi, this is Lisa with Paper Pastiche and I had a mixed media canvas here that I wanted to share. This is my first video that I've done on YouTube so please be kind. Um, but I've had a lot of inspiration from other YouTubers out there and sharing of their time and talents and I wanted to take the time to give back a little bit. So this is a mixed media canvas that I created for um, a couple that had done a good turn for me and I wanted to show my appreciation to them and so I made this canvas for them. It's an 11 by 14 canvas, uh, Deep Edge, titled uh, Time Flies on Wings of Lightning. And of course it didn't start off with what I wanted it to be, but this is what it ended up and I like it well enough. So I uh, started with a textured background that includes, um, I started off with a little Elmer's wood glue and um, this is uh, with water and put this on there and it's, it's fully paintable and everything so it takes the color fun and then um, while it was still pretty wet I went in over it with a uh, palette knife and added in some Liquitex light modeling paste and then uh, let that all dry very well overnight because it was very textured and wet so that dried overnight and then I next day I applied a full coat of uh, Golden's um, Gesso and added that in and then um, it uh, had a completely white surface. So then I wanted to start adding some depth. So I went in with some uh, black acrylic paint and it is here somewhere. But anyway, it was, oh here it is. So, uh, just this Craft Smart uh, acrylic paint. I don't really even know where I've got this from, but um, anyway, so you uh, put that on on there and then wiped off with about, you know, 97% of it probably with a uh, sponge and water uh, just to leave enough in the low lying cracks and crevices uh, to add a little depth. And then I started adding color. I started with Golden's Cobalt Teal and then um, added in Claudine Helmuth Smidge of Blue. Here we go, Claudine Helmuth Smidge of Blue. And that is totally not focusing. I don't really know why. But anyway, so um, then I added a little bit of Golden's Raw Umber just to kind of tone it down a little bit because uh, it was like pretty bright. So after I uh, got all that in, I wanted to start adding some highlights. So I started off with Golden's Yellow Oxide. And this was like a little too dark, a little too depressing or something. So I needed to brighten it up a little bit. So I added this uh, Iridescent Bright Gold Fine. Let's see. Will it please focus? No. Guess not. Anyway, so it's golden iridescent bright fine, gold fine. And uh, so now everything was nice and bright and I needed to uh, bring in a little bit more of my blue so I read around the corners with uh, my blue mixture that I made and around the very edges with just the straight smidge of blue. And uh, now on to the flowers. I will zoom in on those a little bit while I'm talking about them. And most of them are created with a Tim Holtz Tattered Florals die and uh, the uh, Tim Holtz Destinations paper. And I uh, sprayed them with a little bit of uh, homemade glimmer mist and uh, used using Pearlex and uh, Gum Arabic and water. So um, then I added the centers of the flowers, which the big one in the middle has a green bottle cap from uh, Sky Blue Pink, and the insert is from um, Stampin' Up, which it's their designer Build a Brad series, and it has these uh, centers. Where are the centers? They've disappeared down into my pack there. But uh, so the centers that you add, and then alcohol eat them with. Um, a butterscotch and red pepper 
and also did the same coloration with the beads in the middle of the blue flower. The bling around the beads in the blue flower is a Bow Bunny um, bling from their Weekend Market collection. So this is what I used for those. So it's Bow Bunny. And um, the um, some of the centers uh, of the flowers here have a, um, a metal um, center. And those are from uh, Recollections. And the book flowers and the gardenia flowers um, I got from a tutorial from uh, Leanne from Lovely Scrappin'. And uh, she, she does really awesome videos, so you need to go see her. And um, anyway, here is uh, the package of the recollection bling that I used, one of them. And then this is the, the other package uh, with the things that I used. So... <clears throat> Um, there are a few other things in here. There's a fractured doll uh, from Tim Holtz there and some uh, crystal uh, flowers. Well, crystal looking anyway. They're really plastic. And um, I got these from Paper Mart. Uh, Paper Mart is a good source of uh, inexpensive um, things I found, especially when they have their sales, which have, they have good sales. And um, then I went on to uh, make the bird cage. The bird cage is from a uh, Tim Holtz cage bird, and the wings I made from a tutorial from Arlene, uh, Butterfly Kisses, and it has a weathered wood um, distress embossing ink, and then, uh, well, I, I cut them out of chipboard, embossed them, then went over it with the weathered wooded distress ink, then went over it with beauty and uh, two layers of beauty and then one final layer of vintage photo and after I got all of that in there I used uh, the patina rub and buff so here's the, the patina rub and buff and um, and put that on there and it gives it a, a nice uh, you know patina look and then um, moving on to the fence the fence is something I freehand cut out of chipboard and then painted with several layers of, um, there must be nine or ten like, colors of paint in there, so I'm not going to go into all those. But I did start off with uh, vintage photo crackle paint from Tim Holtz and um, then uh, went over it with a slightly darker brown and then added an even darker brown and then went over it with a little bit of highlights of uh, white with just a touch of brown in it. So then on to the title, which is made from a Cricut cartridge um, entitled Opposites Attract. And that cartridge um, is, a, is, is a good one. It, it comes with both of these fonts. And um, I used, I, I cut it with um, grunge board so that um, it's flexible but uh, strong. And it is cut with um, uh, the multi-cut so that it cuts through quite easily and um, is, is quite nice. So let me zoom back out and see if I can wrap this up. Um, I'm sure there's several things I'm forgetting, but if you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, oh, the clock at the top of the birdcage is a Stampin' Up! Uh, clock from their Tea Time Trinkets set. And I think that's about all. But um, like I said, if you have any questions, leave the comments and I will try to get back to you. Thank you.